My coffee pot broke. And I can't buy another one without spending too much money. So in times of desperation, I made a ghetto coffee pot. Today I'm going to show you how to make a replacement pot for your coffee maker. This pot only works with Mr. Coffee's 4 cup brewer. And yes, it's a $20 coffee maker you can easily replace if you have the money, but I'm broke. What you're going to need is your broken coffee pot, an IKEA jar, and a paper clip. The IKEA jar is a 17 ounce jar with a snap lid. It costs $2.49 and I've included the link in the description below. What you want to do is remove the lid off of your coffee pot. I've already spent 5 minutes previously removing the lid off the coffee pot. Make sure you don't break any of the plastic parts. If your plastic lid already broke in half or is not functional, don't bother trying to make this. Because the lid is what pushes the coffee basket to allow the coffee to drip into your carafe. Next, you're going to want to take apart your IKEA jar, which is going to take some strength in pushing and pulling away metal pieces off of the jar. You're going to need every single metal part of the jar, but you won't need the lid. Now that you've taken apart the metal pieces, it's time to move on to the next step. You're going to take your coffee pot lid and attach it to the square-like piece of metal from the jar. Next, you're going to grab your jar and attach the rest of the metals that came with the jar. You're going to use this big ring and attach it to the hooks on the jar like so. Then you're going to grab a paper clip and bend it until it's straight. It doesn't have to be perfect. Now that you've straightened out your paper clip, you're going to attach the angled piece of metal onto the ring. You're going to attach it to the ring part where it's not open and there's a little square knob on it. The angled metal piece does not fit onto the ring metal piece without force, so we're using a paper clip to securely attach both of them together. This is what the jar should look like after you've attached a paper clip. And finally, you're going to attach the lid onto the jar and you're going to attach it on the open side of the metal ring. It's going to take a little bit of force, but it's going to work and you're about to have your coffee pretty soon. Once it's attached, you're ready to brew. Surprise, we're not brewing our coffee just yet. I've included a close-up side view of how to attach the last pieces of metal and the lid to the jar. Just in case if anyone couldn't really see what was going on previously. If you've already figured out how to attach everything to the jar and make your own coffee pot, you are fucking awesome. Or, if you're actually not making it currently and you want to see if this thing actually works, you can fast forward and see the brewing magic happen.
coffee brewing time. Let's try this out to see if it actually works. So the pot doesn't break from heat. It allows coffee to be dispensed and I am a happy camper. Note that this ghetto coffee pot only brews three and a half cups of coffee. Do not brew four cups because it will overload and your coffee pot will spit all its brown venom out. And you also need to watch out when you pour because there's no spout. And when you pour out your coffee or if you're going to clean out your jar, you're going to want to take the lid off and you're going to want to unhook the larger ring off of the jar without disturbing the paper clipped attached part of the ring. For the lid, you also don't need to bother taking off the square metal piece because that can stay there for however long you need it to be. And for milk lovers in their coffee, you can take the jar and put it into boiling water and heat up your coffee and milk at the same time. And that's all for the ghetto coffee pot. If you want to brew coffee without a coffee pot and with a cup, check out my next video on how to brew coffee with a cup.